adapted vehicles are liberating for those whose lives would otherwise be limited to their own immediate surroundings, but they can be costly and are not for everyone. Access to public transport is improving, plus there are community services that offer access to transport at low cost or no cost. Here, wheelchair restraint is a key safety issue. The main pitfalls associated with wheelchair restraints are that drivers think that one system will fit all. We have to develop different types of restraints to fit the many different designs and weights of wheelchairs. Uh, we recommend wherever possible to carry out a risk assessment of the wheelchair and the occupant before transporting. On our website we have something called a wheelchair guide which um, a transport provider can actually access the wheelchair guide and find the manufacturer, the make of wheelchair and then we'll recommend the correct type of restraint for that wheelchair. Driving the bus, which is a very small part of the actual job, uh, passenger safety and well-being is uh, the paramount uh, issue. Today I'm transporting Wendy, who's a lady I've known for many years, uh, uh, know quite well, and uh, she's today uh, using a power wheelchair. It's important to use the correct restraints because there's over 500 different types of wheelchair currently on the market, ranging from manual wheelchairs up to very heavy powered wheelchairs. So it's important that you get the right product for the right wheelchair. People can recognise a good wheelchair restraint by ensuring that the manufacturer has fitted a label which states that the product complies with a recognised industry standard, which is ISO 10542. Once the power chair is in position, uh, located over the rails, we take two front straps. In this case today I'll be showing Colin static front straps with a carabiner hook. We attach them to, into the rail and then place them onto the wheelchair and then just applying the power we move the wheelchair back which tensions the front straps. We come round to the back of the chair, apply the brakes on the powered wheelchair and then we take hold of the rear straps and these are the ones that are adjustable. We connect them into the floor, attach them onto the wheelchair and use an over centre buckle to then put tension onto the back straps then it's always important that we remember to put an occupant restraint on the client as well. The legal obligations for a driver fitting restraints comes under the Road Traffic Act of 1988. Uh, this act states that a person is guilty of an offence if um, he or she uses a vehicle, its accessories or the equipment in the vehicle which can cause danger of injury to any person being transported in that vehicle. Well, restraints uh, contribute to passenger safety uh, in that they are a vital part of what we do and it's essential to have the right restraints for the right chairs. Whilst maintaining a professional relationship with the client, you do develop a friendship with, with some of the ones who you see on a regular basis. You, I've known some of my clients for many years now and uh, we get along very well. I'm, I always try to be helpful and friendly whether, I, whether they're, they're new to me or whether they're old friends, if you like.